Hey true believers, let's play Secret Identity. This demigoddess was born in Canada, can transform into any animal native to the Canadian Arctic, and was once a recruit of Alpha Flight. Can you guess this super Canadian secret identity? Stick around for the answer at the end of the show. Guys, Anglophiles rejoice! The incomparable novelist, screenwriter, and comic book creator Neil Gaiman makes his triumphant return to Marvel after a six-year hiatus with June's Age of Ultron number 10, which will conclude the epic event. The issue features the original creation, Angela, by Neil himself, a special epilogue written by Brian Michael Bendis and art by the legendary Joe Quesada. And Angela promises to have an immediate impact that carries over into Guardians of the Galaxy number 5 in July, which will be written by both Bendis and Gaiman. I'm super pumped to see what these comic titans bring to this book. What do you guys think? Tell me what you think down below. And speaking of Age of Ultron, writer Sam Humphreys and artist Andre Arujo will be assembling an all-Android Avengers team spin-off from Age of Ultron titled Avengers AI. Great things come from spin-offs, right? The Colbert Report, Frasier, Joey. How you doing? Brought together by Hank Pym, the Vision leads Victor Mancha, Doombot, and the mysterious Alexis to contain a Pandora's box of destruction. Writer Sam Humphreys is quoted as saying, Once the AIs are unleashed, there is no turning back. Even the phone in your pocket could be a threat against humanity. And to think that's not just because you're using it while driving for once. And in exciting publishing news, Marvel will delve into the world of fantasy with Once Upon a Time Shadow of the Queen, an all-new original graphic novel which follows the official continuity of the popular ABC series. In Storybrooke, Maine, fairy tales might be more truth than fiction. When the evil queen gets romantic with a huntsman, eat your heart out, Snow White. Ew. The landmark novel is plotted by the show's series writer and co-producer Dan Thompson and co-written by Karina Bechko. So you know it'll be perfect for Once Upon a Time fans and noobs alike. And this week I got to go check out the first look at Toys R Us's World Fair for Marvel's Iron Man 3 Hall of Armor. Check that out right now. Hey True Believers, I'm here at Toys R Us in Midtown Manhattan and today we're at the TRU World's Fair for Marvel's Iron Man 3 Hall of Armor exhibit. Check it out, it's awfully cool. These figures are all from Hasbro, they're 1 18th scale or uh, three and three quarter inch. As you can see, there are all kinds of variants of Iron Man armor, which are so awesome and detailed. And they're from all three movies. They're from Iron Man 1, 2, and 3, as well as the Avengers and some additional variants. Why don't you check them out and tell me how many you can name? If you love that Iron Man Hall of Armor, you should definitely check out Hot Toys' new 1 6 scale Iron Patriot limited edition collectible figurine. I know you watcher watchers love your collectibles. This movie accurate Iron Patriot figurine is highly detailed and fully tricked out, including Don Cheadle's likeness as Iron Patriot in the film, plus LED light up functions and rotatable machine gun. Keep your eyes peeled for this kick butt collectible in the last quarter of this year. And now it's time for the watch list where I give you my top picks for books hitting comic stores and that Marvel Comics app this Wednesday, April 10th. Have you been wondering how Black Widow got that epic shiner in Age of Ultron? Read the harrowing Avengers Assemble number 14 AU by Al Ewing with art by Butch Geis. Natasha is in San Francisco for some much needed relaxation when the Age of Ultron ushers in anything but those mellow California vibes. Next up, Clint Barton has got 99 problems in Hawkeye number 9 by Matt Fraction with gorgeous mod art by David Aha. Our favorite Hawkeye is having some girl problems. A lot of them. And last up, Thor God of Thunder number 7 by Jason Aaron with dynamic pencils by Asad Ribic. Thor learns where gods go to die as he prepares to once again face the God Butcher alongside a very familiar face. And now it's time for What If, where we ask ourselves that eternal question, what if? This past week was Superior Spider-Man week on Marvel.com, but what if any villain could take over any superhero? Who would you choose and why? Tell me what you think down below, and your comment might just be watched on The Watcher. And special thanks to YouTube commenter Honey Bear, who answered my question about your ideal universe protecting dream team, saying, Nova, Leader, Thanos, Silver Surfer, Sentry, Doom 2099, and Lorraine Sink. Well, I appreciate your vote of confidence, and I've been looking for a place to wear my silver unitard. 
You realize I don't actually have any space skills, right? And if you guessed the secret identity of that Canada love and demigoddess was Snowbird, well, you were right. This character is so Canadian that even leaving the borders of Canada leaves her ailing, which is more than we can say for our own director of communications and president, Canadian Arun Singh. But what if Arun were Snowbird? Hmm. Maybe not. I'll see you next time, True Believers. I'm Lorraine Singh for Marvel, your universe. And if you're not watching the watcher, then you best have an excuse. The watcher, yeah, it's always watching you. Marvel, your universe.